and then whether or not the, that, no? the questions were at all repetitive. And, you know, in fact, we are entitled to ask any question that will help us determine where Mr. Miguel has assets hidden. So we're asking as many questions as we need to to find out where those assets are and then hopefully to uh, to uncover those assets. Amy, what do you think the answers you have been giving and the information you were getting? Is it yeah, working so you? you know what? So far, it's been a good deposition. We're going to continue to uh, ask more questions. The court has allowed us to proceed on Wednesday, so we will be back next week to ask more questions. But as you know, this was the uh, exam of Mr. Miguel's personal assistant, his executive assistant, who is supposed to be knowledgeable about all of his personal affairs and finances. So we're hoping we'll get more information on Wednesday. And do you think Joe Madera is lying? Do you know if he knows about where Luis Miguel is? What do you think? I, I wish I knew whether someone was lying or not, but I don't know. Emily, Maybe. what do your clients say? Uh, what are you guys going to do to find Luis Miguel? You know, that's why I'm here. That's why we're asking these questions and having this exam and asking anyone who uh, is part of Mr. Miguel's team of people, including his executive you know, assistant, to try and find out where these assets are so that the judgment can be paid to Mr. Brockhouse. It's, it's true you guys going to hide into paparazzi to find him? It's true you're going to hide into paparazzi to... It's true you guys hire paparazzi to get him. I have no knowledge that anyone on my side has hired any paparazzi. Well, Amy, do you know where he is? Do you know where he is? To find him? Amy, you mentioned today that you had discovered important information about Mr. Luis Miguel. What did you gain today new? That's a great question. So. What we're trying to find out generally is where these assets are, where they're located. And so today we found out more information we think will help us to find those assets. What do you know about his whereabouts, Mr. Uh, I know about as much as you. Given that we have a full press corps here, I'm hopeful that someone knows where Mr. Miguel is and hopefully we'll be able to resolve this sooner rather than later. As you all know, on Monday, the court issued an order for his arrest. Right? There's a bench warrant out. This has become very serious. So we're hopeful that Mr. Miguel is listening and that he's willing to resolve this sooner rather than later. So thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Mr. I, I wish I could say with any certainty that we were closer to being paid, but until we actually see money, we can't feel any more certain about being paid. Amy, you mentioned you said that he was in Las Vegas. Vegas. Is he in Las Vegas, Eden? Um, that is one of the various things that we have heard. Uh, again, you, the reporters, seem to have a lot of information regarding where he is. So we are open always to hearing where anyone thinks he Does is. Does it make a difference for you to know where he is? Um, because we know this is two separate things, the money and the, the warrant. That's right. So all of this started with a request for a deposition. We've been trying to uh, get Mr. Miguel to sit down and have a deposition regarding where his assets are. So yes, his whereabouts are important because ultimately we'd like him to come to court and testify. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone. Have a great day. No se te olvide suscribirte al canal y por supuesto compartirlo con tus amigos en tus redes sociales. Y síguenos a través de La Remix TV. No se te olvide compartirlo. Somos La Remix TV.